take you through those two games from earlier today that the guys were alluding to. And we will start with Michigan taking on the top seed, Purdue, and Caleb Swanigan, the player of the year, going up against D.J. Wilson, who was great early, John. Oh, D.J. Wilson, when he plays well, he looks like the best pro on the floor. When he plays well, Michigan's hard to beat. He had 18 in the first half. That would qualify as playing well. Final seconds of the half. Off the rebound from Swanigan. How about P.J. Thompson to pull up from 50? He did this against Villanova. And so Purdue goes into the break down just one. To the second half we go. One-point game. Carson Edwards. The board takes it all the way. Edwards had 17 as Purdue expands the lead to three. Now up by two. Closing second. Sack Irvin all the way to the hoop. And then Irvin steals the inbounds. But it turns out Matt Painter had called timeout. Look at him right here as soon as the ball goes through. And so they were awarded that timeout. Had a shot at it. But Wilson tells Carson Edwards, how dare you. The big block. We go to overtime. And in the OT, Michigan taking control. It was Irvin. Sweet move in the lane there. And then Irvin. The strong drive and the layup as Michigan wins its second straight year. They knock off the one seed. And pleased to be joined now by one of the stars of the game, Zach Irvin of the Wolverines, hit the shot that sent this one into overtime, and Michigan ends up prevailing. But, Zach, I want to kind of go big picture on you here. I mean, to me, this game kind of symbolized what this team has been through this week. I mean, you guys have been up against a lot of adversity, and it's... Yeah, maybe it's unfair to compare a basketball game to what you guys had in the airplane, but give us a sense of the mental state of this team right now and what has allowed you to be as resilient as you've been. I couldn't agree more. I think uh, everything we've been through these past 48 hours has just shown how mentally tough we are. You know, we've gone through so much adversity and it shows throughout this whole game. You know, we had a not today mentality. We, we wanted to end this game with a win. Zach. Obviously a great offensive performance by a number of people, but I want to talk about the job you've done defensively over the last couple of days. It started yesterday with Malcolm Hill of Illinois. You shut him down, and then today at times, you not only had to defend guys like Vince Edwards, but you had to go down there in the block. When you started your career in Michigan, did you ever think that you would become that kind of a defensive stopper? You know, I always take pride in my defense. You know, that's basically what defense is. You know, I, I hate when someone scores on me, but I, I think I've grown so much as a player since I've been here at the University of Michigan. What was the impetus for you guys? Like midseason, seemed like you were struggling a little bit. You couldn't put things together. But all of a sudden, things started to click. What was it that got you guys to start clicking and start playing the way that we're seeing today? I just think we knew in order to have a successful season, we had to play defense. And, you know, our main thing is running people off the, off the line. You know, we don't want them to get easy threes and be able to gang rebound. And we were able to do that since, I guess, nine, nine games left in the Big Ten tournament. That just changed our whole season around. Well, for the second straight year, Michigan headed to the semis, third time in the last four years. Zach, we look forward to seeing you guys back out here tomorrow. Congratulations on the win. Thank you.